Magandang araw sa ating lahat. This is Mr. Reyes guiding you sa ating panibagong lesson. Ang ating kaisa-isang learning objective, pero mahirap, the learner solves problems involving sequences, particularly the real-life problems. Pero bago yan, magumpisa muna tayo sa pamamagitan ng warm-up activity na ito, the backhoe machine. A backhoe machine will dig a hole that is 8 meters long, 8 meters wide, and 8 meters deep. The machine digs 2 cubic meters on the first day. On the second day, it digs another 2 cubic meters. 4 cubic meters on the third day, 8 cubic meters on the fourth day, and so on. If this pattern continues, how many days did it took the machine to dig the entire hole? So basically, from the given problem, Nakita nyo na may nangyayaring pattern sa mga lumalabas na number of cubic meters. Tingnan natin kung paano i-resolve ito. Ito ay nangangailangan ng volume ng hole. Kasi automatically, if you have the length, the width, and the height, you are talking about the volume of a certain solid, particularly the rectangular prism. So mag-arrive ka sa 512 cubic meter. On the first day, napansin natin na nakapag-dig na siya or nakapag na siya ng 2 cubic meter. On the second day, according to the problem, nakapag-dig na siya ng another 2 cubic meter. Pero ng third day, nag-improve kasi dinobol niya yung kanyang previous second day. So that is 4 cubic meter. And then for the fourth day, dinobol niya ulit yung third day kaya naging 8 cubic meter. And then on the 5th day, naging 16. And then on the 6th day is 32 cubic meter. And then 7th day, 64. Because according to the pattern, nada doble. So day 8 is 128. And on the day 9, that is 256. And basically, it will take uh, 9 days for that 512 cubic meter para totally mahukay niya yung prism na yun, yung hole na yun. So, from that given problem, we will realize na pwede palang uh, magawa or may apply yung sequence. But this time, kakailanganin nating may apply, may integrate yung mga formula na napag-aralan natin nung arithmetic sequence at saka yung geometric sequence. Take a look at this problem. Uh, Rachel is practicing the guitar for a competition. She starts by practicing the guitar for one hour on the first day. Tandaan, one hour on the first day. And, uh, and then increases the practice time by 10 minutes each day. So that is the common difference. And basically, according to the problem, if the pattern continues, how many minutes will she spend practicing on the seventh day? Again, from the given problem, we notice that on the first day, mayroon siyang 1 hour na na-spend sa kanyang pagpapractice ng guitar. And dadagdagan niya ng 10 minutes every other day para every or each day para mag-improve daw siya. So kung napapansin niya, we have a different units from here. So we will need, instead of 1 hour, we will need uh, 60 minutes para pareho tayo ng units from the common difference. And the required here is the 7th portion or the 7th day. And we will be needing the formula is a sub n equals to a sub 1 plus d times quantity n minus 1. If you are still familiar with that, hopefully. And from that, integrate natin yung formula na yan. We could have uh, a sub 7 is equal to 60 plus the common difference is 10. Our value of n is 7. Then our we have this one. And from that, you should have 60 plus 10 times 6 and you will arrive at 60 plus another 60 so overall we have 120 so therefore it will take her 120 minutes for the 7 practice okay next another problem uh, there are 20 rows of seats on a concert hall 25 seats are given on the first row from taken from here maybe and 27 seats on the second row this is the second row 29 seats on the third row 
and so on. Here's another condition. If the price of the ticket sold is 500 pesos, that is per ticket, medyo may kamahalan. We are asking, we were asked to find the total sales of the one night concert considering the number of all or all seats are taken from the concert hall here. So our main concern here, ano ba yung mga given sa problem natin? Isaysay natin. Um, ang first row natin ay mayroong 25 seats. So that is given from our A sub 1. And meron daw common difference na 2 kasi kung titignan natin mayroong 25 seats, 27 seats. So nag improve ng dalawa. 29 seats and so on. So nag improve ng dalawa. And from that, we notice that from the given, meron tayong 20 rows or volume N. So re ready na yung mga given natin because in the long run, hahanapin muna natin yung number of uh, seats. Palalaman lang natin yan kapag alam natin yung S of N. And later on, kapag nakuha na natin yung S of N, we are going to multiply that by 500 pesos. Kasi obviously, kada isang upuan, one ticket yon. Hindi ka makakabaso kung wala kang ticket. And we will be needing this formula. And again, you need to memorize this formula as much as possible. And from that, maaaring na nating bigyan ng solution. We will be getting first the S of, uh, uh, S of 20. So, i-plug i -plug natin. So, 20 over 2. Then, 2 times our A sub 1 is 25. Our common difference is 2. Then, again, 2, 20, minus 1, close. We have 10. We have 50. Plus, 2 times 19. Then, close. 10 times 50. Plus, we have 38. And therefore, we have 10 times 88. So, that is equal to 880. And again, that 880 will be multiplied to 500 pesos. The shortcut is to count the number of zeros. And we have 8 times 5 is 40. Carry 4, then 40, and then 44. So, therefore, the total sales is 440,000 pesos. Subukan natin itong example. A scientist observed in an ex experiment that the population of bacteria doubled. So we will make use of this later. Doubled every hour. If 150 bacteria were present initially, so that refers to something first or A sub 1, Approximately how many hours did it take for the number of bacteria to become 9,600? So obviously, from our given, there were 150 bacteria at the initial. So that pertains to A sub 1. And from the word double, kukunin natin yan as the volume the common ratio. At, at a certain time, after a certain time or number of hours, nagkaroon daw ng bakterya na 9,600. Pero hindi natin alam kung ano yung number of hours na yun. So therefore, we are required to get the value of N or the number of hours. Gagamitin natin to yung formula ng ito if you are still familiar with that. And from that, i-derive natin yung value ng N. So again, mag-solution tayo. I-plug natin ang ating A sub N uh, which is let me write that again. A sub n equals to A sub 1 times R raised to n minus 1. Our A sub n is 9,600. Our A sub 1 is 150 times the common ratio of 2 raised to n minus 1 because we don't know yet kung ano yung value ng n. We could have a, a division or divide both sides by 150. That's the simplest way. So 9,600, you're going to divide that by 150 you will arrive at 64. And then, you also have the 2 raised to n minus 1. One way to simplify this is you could apply the law of logarithm. If you have that, you could easily get that n minus 1 is equal to logarithm of 64 over the logarithm of uh, 
uh, logarithm of 2. And from that, n minus 1 is equal to the logarithm of 64 is obviously equal to or if you are going to simplify in your calculator, you could have the logarithm of 64 divided by the logarithm of uh, logarithm of 2 and you will arrive at exactly 6. And we could say that our n is equal to 6 plus 1 and in the long run you have n equals to 7. So therefore, kung titignan natin, it will take 7 hours to have a total bacteria of 9,600. Medyo mahirap, pero I hope you could apply in your scientific calculator the process of getting the logarithm of certain numbers. Another problem. Joey saves an amount on his in his bamboo bank each week. To make it fun, he doubles, okay, he doubles whatever amount is inside the bank next week. On the first week, meron siyang 1 peso. On the 10th week, ilan kaya ang nasa kanyang bamboo bang lahat-lahat. So, let us identify first or analyze the problem first. On the first week, kung papansin natin, meron siyang 1 peso. Second week, 2 pesos. Third week, naglagay siya ng 4 pesos. And then, the fourth week, may 8 pesos siya. So, kung titignan natin, our A sub 1 is 1 peso, our common ratio is 2, and our value of N is 10. So, magkano kaya yung amount na nilagay niya after or after 10 days doon sa bamboo pang na yan. So, i-apply natin basically yung formula lang ito, S sub N equals to A sub 1 quantity 1 minus R raised to N all over 1 minus R. Ibigay natin ng solution. So, sa isa natin, we are finding the S of uh, S of 10 so, our A sub 1 is 1 peso. Then, 1 minus our common ratio is obviously 2. We are going to raise that by the value of N, which is 10. Then, all over 1 minus 2. To simplify, you could have the 1 minus 2 raised to 10 is equal to uh, 1024. 1024, that is to be all over negative 1. From the numerator, you can have the negative 1,023 and you are going to divide that by negative 1. S of 10 is equal to 1,023. So therefore, ang nilalaman, okay, that's the other solution. Ang nilalaman ng kanyang uh, bamboo bank is equal to 1,023 pesos for the 10 weeks. And another problem... Uh, this is actually another application of geometric sequence. A ball is toast to a height of 8 meters, rebounds to one half lang kanyang previous height. We are asked to find the distance of the ball traveled when it comes to rest, hanggang sa tumigil yung bola. I-analyze natin. Yung the distance traveled going up is the same as the distance travel going down. Kasi ang ginawa niya is nag siya. So, nagsimula siya sa ilalim. Kung ito yung ating ground at saka ito yung vertical position, nagmula yung bola from here na itinose siya. Tosing that upward, basically, you will need 8 meters. And then, syempre, magbabounce yun. Going down, may another 8 meters doon. Pero, pagka bounce niya ulit, half of the position now ang nangyari. Kasi nga, one half of its previous height. So, instead of 8 meters, magiging 4 meters na lang. And going down, that's another 4 meters. And magbabounce ulit yung bola. And at this point, hindi na 4 meters, kundi 2 meters. And another 2 meters, and so on, hanggang sa maging 1 meter, and then another 1 meter. So, magkakaroon ng geometric sequences, particularly the infinite geometric sequence. Kaya kung, again, further analysis, napansin natin na yung distance pwedeng nating mailagay sa ganitong format. Merong doble na 8 meters because this is the up and down, up and down yung tunay ito, up and down, up and down. And we will come up that 
the formula behind all of this is the the sum of infinity of the geometric sequence. Kaya pwede nating i-simplify ito ng ating value ng a sub 1. We could get this as 8. The common ratio is obviously 1 half. I-plug in natin our a sub 1 is 8. Our common ratio is 1 half. And that is equal to 16. We will multiply by 2 because of the 30 uh, because of the up and down. So 2 times 30 to, uh, 2 times 16 you will have that 32. So therefore the total distance the ball has traveled when it comes to rest is 32 meters. Here's a different one. A ball is dropped from a height of 6 meters. So kung i-compare natin sa previous problem, yung previous problem kasi nag-toast tayo. Ngayon naman mag mag magmumula sa pinaka-above or nag-drop tayo. Kung i-drawing natin, yung bola manggagaling from above. So therefore, mag-umpisa tayo sa down kagad. Yung down na yun, that is 6 meters. So if we are getting the sum of the infinity, magmumula tayo sa 6 meters, which is the only down kasi nga nanggaling tayo from above. And then pag magba-bounce yan, it would be two-third of its previous height. Kaya ang two-third nun somewhere here, what the two-third of six is basically four meters. Kaya meron tayong up and down na uh, four meters. Okay, ganyan. And then magba-bounce yung bola, kukunin mo yung two-third ng four. Okay, ano kaya yung two-third ng four? The two-third of four is eight over three. So, 8 over 3 ito, saka 8 over 3 ito, dalawang beses na 8 over 3. Kasi nga, up and down. And then, magbabounce li yung bola hanggang sa kunin mo yung 2 third ng 8 over 3. Siyempre, medyo mix number na yung magagamit natin. Plus 2 or improper fraction would be 16 times 9. That's another height of the ball from above. Kasi nga, nag-start nag tayo from a certain height of 6 meters and nagre-rebound yun and magiging 2 third ng kanyang previous height. And so on and so forth hanggang sa magiging it comes to rest na siya. Simplify natin. 6 is the different one. We need to bring down that one because from the second term here or second add-in up to the certain term, nagkakaroon tayo ng geometric sequence dito or basically infinite geometric ang nangyayari. First term, it would be this way. Why not take this one as the first term? That is 8. And basically, nagmumultiply tayo ng 2 uh, third because of the common ratio na tinatawag. So, 1 minus 2 third. And that becomes 6 times 8 divided by 1 minus 2 third is uh, becomes 1 third and 6 plus 8 divided by 1 third is 8 times 3 over 1 so with that we have 6 plus 24 so in the long run you have 30 so therefore the total distance traveled by the ball is 30 meters before it comes to rest I hope naintindihan mo yung mga problems natin those are some of the Applications of uh, our sequence, mapa geometric man yan or mapa arithmetic man yan. Because as we all know, sabi nga natin parati, every problem has a solution. Or if we, we, if we are that creative enough, malaya tayo sa pagsusolve. If you could have it mentally or you could have it manually as long as you are creative enough, go on, basta mag ka sa tamang sagot. And once again, Gawin mo ang makakaya mo na maintindihan yung mga activities or assessment na ipapagawa sa'yo. That is all for now. Thank you for the time and have a good day.